Sam, so here we are at, uh, out on a, a tuna farm. How's it been? Yeah, it's definitely very interesting. There are, didn't realise that tuna would get so big and these are only small little babies. So something different and um, yeah, lots to learn about. And uh, so you've arrived in Adelaide after the Australian Open. You had, a, you had a good two weeks at the Australian Open. Tell us about it. Yeah, I was really pleased with the way Aussie Open went. Pretty happy with the way I was able to play. And um, yeah, unfortunately lost to Serena, but eventual champion, you can't do too much about it. And she just uh, played pretty unbelievable when I played her. So um, yeah, but very pleased with the two weeks and shame it's all over again for another year. And how about the support you received in Melbourne, being our number one women's player? How was that? Oh, fantastic. It's always good down in Melbourne. But, uh, yeah, this year they got pretty loud and really supported me really well. So I uh, have to thank everyone for coming out and getting behind me. It was um, very much appreciated and certainly makes it a lot more fun being out there. So now we're in uh, Adelaide for the Fed Cup. Pretty tough opponent this week, Spain. How do you, how do you see the Spanish team? Yeah, well, they've got a really good team, uh, all of them, I think, in the top 30 or 40 and uh, one of the top three doubles teams in the world as well. So we're going to have a, a tough time against them, I'm sure, but I think we're all up to it. And definitely if we can play um, some pretty good tennis, I think we've got a good chance of beating them. So really looking forward to the challenge and uh, I'm sure the rest of the girls are too. And any tactics you can let us in on? Oh, actually don't know too much yet. Uh, I've never played uh, Carla Suarez, Navarro. Um, played Medina Garigas once or twice and Martinez Sanchez a couple of times so if I can um, if I end up playing Martinez and try and get a bit, a bit of revenge I've lost her the last two times so if that's the case then I'll be going out to get one back. And what does it mean for you to play for your country? Oh it's fantastic I always loved playing for my country right from when I was 14 and unders and playing in uh, all those teams events so it's um, a great privilege and uh, we don't get to do it too often throughout the year so definitely uh, enjoy enjoy it when it comes by. And as for you, for the rest of the year, what, do you, what have you got planned and also what goals have you set for yourself? Uh, well, after this week, I had to Dubai for one tournament and then to the States for a week off and get into some more practice and then the um, American circuit starts in Indian Wells. So no time to really rest too much right now. It's straight back into it. And uh, as for goals, probably I want to get myself into the top 10. I'm one spot away now, so if I can do that in the next few weeks, I'll be very happy. And you're looking forward to the French and possibly you know going one step further than you did last year? Well I hope so it'd be great to be uh, back into a semi-final there and you know if I got that opportunity I'd love to make it to a final but uh, the start of a Grand Slam is always tough and uh, you know even though I've done it once there you can't take it for granted and think it's going to happen all the time without working hard so I've got to go there and really try and play my best and hopefully I'll get another opportunity. Thanks for your time Sam. Thank you.